Straight skeletons of two-dimensional polygons and straight line segments have been thoroughly defined and investigated in the past 15 years. A straight skeleton is defined as the trace of the vertices as the edges of the polygon propagate inward at equal rate until the polygon vanishes. Let us explore the generalization of a straight skeleton into three dimensions. The straight skeleton of a simple polyhedron, which might contain holes, is the trace of all edges and vertices of the polyhedron as its faces propagate inward in the direction of their normal, at equal rate, until the polyhedron vanishes. During this propagation, a polyhedron may split into several connected components, all of which will propagate into simplices before vanishing. The straight skeleton comprises piecewise linear components and is a relative of the medial surface, which may comprise quartic surfaces and curves. It is a partition of the interior of the polyhedron into three cells, each swept by a face of the polyhedron, in which every skeletal face is part of the bisector of the supporting planes of two polyhedral faces, not necessarily adjacent. Every skeletal edge is the trisector of three polyhedral faces. Note that the straight skeleton of a convex polyhedron is identical to its medial surface. Convex vertices of the polyhedron, whose degree is greater than three, propagate into several edges and vertices, the total number of which is linear in the degree of the original vertex. This new topology is strictly defined due to the convexity of the original vertex as the lower envelope of the surrounding planes. However, there is an inherent ambiguity in the definition of the straight skeleton of a general non-convex vertex. For instance, a vertex of degree greater than 3 may propagate into multiple equally valid topological configurations. This ambiguity exists because the polyhedron is defined by both its supporting planes and a given topology. We define a consistent solution to this ambiguity. For each initial vertex, we look at a planar cross-section of a small neighborhood around the vertex after an infinitesimally small propagation. For this cross-section, we compute the weighted straight skeleton, which weights are defined according to the angles of the adjacent faces with the cross-section plane. The topology that the weighted straight skeleton induces is in fact the solution we seek. An equivalent option is computing the weighted straight skeleton as the trace that these faces leave on the cross-section plane during propagation. This method can also be applied to saddle vertices, which we cross-section by two planes, and then connect the infinite weighted straight skeletons induced by these two cross-sections. During the propagation, the points of interest are the events in which the topology of the propagating polyhedron changes. In general position, all events occur at an intersection of exactly four propagating faces. The possible events are whole event, split event, edge event and vertex event. 
It is both interesting and important that the propagation is memoryless. The propagated polyhedron, after any certain point in time, can be deduced from the state of the propagation at that point. Thus, events can be viewed as hard-coded outcomes of an initial vertex of degree 4. We see the stress skeleton of a box with two tetrahedral holes. We see a double convex shell. Notice the crisscross pattern of the skeleton induced by the lower and upper faces of the shell.